And this is the final episode of this war of mine. It's been a fun journey, uh, somber moments, but I hope you guys enjoy. This has been my first complete series. So, I'm glad that I've finally finished my first series. It's good practice to get used to what this is like. Um, but yeah, I this will be the end. So... I do talk a little bit more at the end of this video about what to expect in the future, but besides all that, I'll catch you in the next one. See you. Actually, I'll go for the... Actually, no, because I can get wood from... Cutting up the place. I need water to cook. So, we'll give you some gears in exchange. I just... Guess we're gonna have to go that. Um, wounded, severely wounded, slightly wounded. Okay, how the fuck do we distinguish? Actually, you should probably eat. Eat first. Protect yourself first, Pavel. They're just sitting together crying. This is slightly annoying. We hopefully have enough to last us a while. I just have to pray that's the right person. I mean... Managing up. They were bandits. They killed a priest and everyone that was sheltered there. They deserved it. Stop crying. Oh no, she's functioning again. That's... You need to sleep though. That's your big thing. You... Let's see if we can... Okay, he doesn't want to talk. What is he? Hungry? Slightly right. You need to... I don't know. Eat something. Oh, okay. We're, everything's back open. Phew. Uh, city hospital. Lots of meds. Uh, severely wounded. Bandaged. Depressed. Sleep in bed. God. I think we're just going to stay tonight. Oh no, it's getting cold. Jesus. The night was calm apart from an echo of distant shots. Let's just hope it won't get worse. Katie is feeling much better. We just have to keep an eye on her. It seems that Boris is starting to feel a bit unwell. Although he has some ugly looking wounds. They seem very serious. Ah, shit. Uh, you sleep. We gotta see if we can upgrade the heater in here and make it warmer. Otherwise, it's gonna get really bad really quick. But at least we can get uh, water now for cooking. Okay, uh, is there anything else we can make? That's the stuff. Um, I won't worry about that necessarily right now. We'll have a look at what else we need. We might need to be able to make um, another furnace. Let's go upgrade this heater, and hopefully there's enough that we'll be able to survive. Hey, I need help. Please open up. Oh, okay, Jesus. Let me fix this first. And then she needs to eat, and then we'll see. Oh, quickly put some more fucking wood in there. Jesus, don't let it get too cold.
Hello again. How are you doing? Thank you for your help. What we need. We need cover. Went back to their homes. Well, I'm still needs bandages though. Okay, I mean, if we can find bandages, we'll give them to you, I swear. I just... At the moment, we can't really help. Um, hang on, can I make more kindling here? We need to try and fix freaking Boris. He's not doing well. Okay, oh boy. Military outpost. I guess we'll send her. Ah, oh, shit. I'm going to risk it and hope that we don't get attacked. Uh, they like cigarettes. I'll bring them... I guess I can bring them some alcohol. Let's see if we can find anything. Only trash and dirt, that sucks. Wonder if we could steal from them. I want to trade. Can I, can you please trade with me? Thank you. Okay, um, we don't need water because there's plenty of that because it's raining. Bandages is what we really need. Okay, um, Yeah, okay, we'll do that, I guess. Wanna be this war of mine episode if the phone didn't ring? much better we just have to keep an eye on him cool that is good what's the radio saying are you giving us any hints when it's gonna usually the price of cigarettes and tobacco have become exceedingly high many people need cigarettes to calm down but how can they be calm knowing how much they must pay for them it is cold unfortunately higher temperatures are not expected over the next couple of days so make sure okay Death takes its toll in Peregrine, sniper fire, mortar shells, and cold temperatures are the cause of deaths of many civilians. The spokesman of the military said civilians are supposed to build the blood and then cuts off. Um, oh, let's make a snowman. Maybe that will make us feel better. 
I'm hoping the snowman will make us feel better. That's that's the only reason I'm doing it. It might seem more enticing to people as well. Okay, we might be able to help him. Hello again. Let's get those bandages we spoke about. You'll save that man's life, yes. It's fine by me. I'm hoping that it'll just make him feel tight a bit better. That's all I want. I need to try and get his wounds to heal. But actually, first, can we see if we can put more fire on? Because we need as much warmth as possible. Yeah, let's go see if we can make some kindling. I'm surprised she hasn't said anything about us helping that person. Okay, yeah, it's starting to get cold, so we got to put more in that fireplace. And the more we put in, hopefully, the hotter it'll be. She's nearly done, so that's good. And then we'll use her to get some water. Ah, oh, look at that. Snowman. She can spend most of her time hanging out here to get as much of this as possible. Look at that. All the warmth coming back up. That's good. Ah. Fahrenheit makes it look nicer, but I'm only used to Celsius. Uh, get there before it gets to seven. He needs to eat something. Just hope he doesn't die from starvation or something. Uh, what? No, I didn't want you to feed him. He's fucking fine. Oh well, I just... Hope he doesn't die. Uh, this old apartment building used to be owned by an elderly couple and their son, but they fled before the siege. There are rumors of some shady looking, well armed individuals taking refuge there. We need to be careful if we decide. Lots of food, lots of some materials, huge amounts of weapons, huge amounts of parts. It might be best for him to go. not going to be great for their, like, mentality, but... Oh, we don't have a helmet. We just, we don't have extra protection. Okay, we'll risk it. I mean... Food's the big concern at the moment. I need to get as much of that as possible. I don't know what that is. I can't be a person. There's... Okay, yeah, that's someone there.
Uh, anything that's worth scavenging for here? No, they probably hold all that stuff up there. I'm gonna hide. Hey, right, he's coming. I okay, got lots of ammo, that's good, just grab all of that. I found the do list, it must be a group of some sort. Hang on, there's someone in here. Oh boy. Okay, phew. We, we got them. We got them. Okay, they're dead. I wish I didn't have to shoot them, but... You gotta do what you gotta do. They have some really good shit in here. Best part is I know he doesn't care because they're bandits. Because he, he, he said before, I has no sympathy for him. Nothing here. Uh, I mean, he handled that stealth attack with the axe pretty damn well. I honestly didn't think he was going to survive it. So I'll give him props, it's impressive. When it gets to three, though, we'll have to go. Ah, oh, there's the fridge. That'll be where the food is. Uh, meds. That's beneficial. And we'll go check out the fridge. What does that say? I'm your rest. I killing for... I'm not sure. We'll come back here then, hopefully, to the next night. Uh, we can leave the parts, take that food. Okay. We'll be set though, uh, thanks to him for a bit, so that's good. Okay, let's get out here. I don't think he was prepared to get shot when he came down here. Not dead yet, but we'll have to feed him like straight away. Alright, we've been raided. Boris left the shelter. Boris left us during the night. We don't think he'll be back. Oh, what? It's really, it looks like she won't make it. We're back to the original two. Go bandage yourself up. I'm glad we didn't lose power, but he took a huge risk out there. We're better off without Boris anyways. Oh, Criminal thrived during wartime. At least the individuals are no longer a threat to anyone. Oh, no. Come on, guys. Don't both be broken. Drink or do something. You need to eat. Fuck. I'm paranoid now that they're gonna die. If this is how it ends, I'm gonna be so sad. 
We got so much good shit. It's gonna get cold and stuff. Oh boy. They're both very hungry. Oh, don't let yourselves die. We're, we're on day 30. Maybe the war will end tomorrow. Maybe. I hope. Oh god, we've made it so far. Don't you fucking die like this. I'm gonna be so sad. This is how it ends. I'm gonna be so upset. This can't be how it ends. Please, no. Eat something, please. I'm begging you, eat. Hey, come on, answer the door at least. Come on, come on, guys. Don't be like this. Look at the happy snowman. We got happy snowman. Don't be like this. We're set. We don't need to go out robbing people anymore. We're good. Please. She's lethally wounded. She needs to fucking bandage herself. I'm just gonna have to end the day. I... God damn it, please. Don't die. Please don't get raided. Oh, it's past. Okay, so it's no longer cold, but Jesus. Christ. No! And that's it. And we didn't make it. Fuck! Ah. Uh. Oh, such a sad ending. We helped our neighbors. A girl in distress, two men brutally assaulted a girl, but Katie stood up for them and saved her. Yep. Frightened neighbors asked us to protect her against men. It's Katie agreed to help. I mean, Katie did so much for people. A shell hit a nearby. Boris helped them. Boris killed a bandit on the 25th day. Bruno died. He froze to death. Yep. Counted several bandits and managed to kill them. Boris left. Katie died. She died from her wound, sadly. And Pavel left. Despite his uh, villain struggles, Bruno didn't make it through the war. He fate was Bruno disappeared one night without a trade. He died of liver failure a few years after the war. At least he survived. Katie never found her parents, but they did find her grave one day with her war diary buried alongside. They published it without any alterations. It became a bestseller. D Pavel decided to leave the shelter one fateful night. The next morning, he was shot in the back, running from the bandits. Aw, oh, man. Boris was the only one he survived, and he only lived for a couple years. Oh, that's so sad. Aw, oh, man. The only somewhat good endings here is Katie and, like, Boris, but even then... Aw, oh, man, that's sad. Uh, I guess that's the thing with this game. You never know what you're going to guess. And we got a really, really sad ending. Well, that's the finale, I guess, of this war of mine. I wish it was a bit happier, um, but you never know what you're going to get. And sadly, that was this ending. 
I might play it again in the future, uh, try and get a better ending, but for now, this is the end of this War of Mine. I do plan to stream this War of Mine, possibly the... hang on, let me go back. Uh, this War of Mine stories, I might plan on doing that and streaming it and all that fun stuff, whoops. But yeah, I, I plan on possibly streaming this War of Mine stories, also the final cut, I might stream that once I get my setup fully done in my new computer um, and I might upload those episodes to YouTube as well sad ending man really sad I wish we we were so close to I reckon only a couple more days I reckon and then the war would have been over but uh if only real sad it was a risk, I know, to go... It was a risk I probably shouldn't have taken, killing those guys, but... What can I say? I... I, I went that way. But oh well, that was this war of mine. Sad, sad game. Uh, lots of heartache, but... I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'll do the whole like, comment, subscribe thing if you guys want to see future videos like this. Um, it, liking tells me that you guys want to see more and all that fun stuff uh, but yeah besides all that I'll catch you in the next one see you